Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by for yet another video. Today we're going to do a very quick how-to video and I'm going to show you how you can export a specific still, just one frame from your timeline. So you might find this useful if you want to create a thumbnail for the video that you're working on, if you want to upload it let's say on YouTube or on another social platform. You might also find it useful if you want to share some stills from the project you're working on 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 your social media platforms or if you want to share these stills with the client you're working for. So many different reasons why this might be useful for somebody but let's go and check out how we can actually do that in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's say that we have this project right here and I want to find some good frames that I could potentially use for my thumbnail or because I want to share them on my social media. So I'm going to skim through my video till I find something that is actually visually interesting on its own. So I think I got something that I like. So let's say that I want this frame to be exported. There are actually two ways to do that. The first way is by clicking on this icon right here, save current frame, and we get this settings and info dialog window. So here we can decide about the name we're gonna give to this specific thumbnail. So I'm gonna name it ticking clock, which is the name of my project thumbnail one because I might decide to have more than one actually I might need to export five different frames and choose at the end which I consider to be the best for what I'm doing here you can add a description this is a thumbnail for ticking clock music video we can write down who is the director and we can also add tags if we want to. We can also check the settings. You can choose what type of file you want. Do you want it PNG, DPX, image, JPEG, open EXR, Photoshop file, PNG and TIFF file. You can choose what works best for us. Well, I'm a bit lazy today, so I'm gonna go JPEG. And uh, you can click to preserve the aspect ratio if you want to. I want to so I'm gonna click that and here you can decide if you want to burn your captions as well in case you have captions on this specific thumbnail well I personally don't have the option because my project doesn't have captions anyway and basically this is it you can click next and here you can actually decide where you want your thumbnail to be saved. And I will create a folder called thumbnails and save it in here. And when your still image is actually exported, you get this share successful pop-up window on the right hand top corner of your screen. Well, the second way to access this save current frame menu is by clicking on file share, save current frame, and then you get the same info and settings pop-up window that we've already shown. And basically this is it. Now there is a chance that you don't have this save current frame option on your system. The way to fix that is by clicking on this icon right here and go add destination. Right here you can find the save current frame option and drag it to your destinations list. Also you can select the default settings. I'm gonna click on PNG image, scale image to preserve aspect ratio, automatic expert selected layer only, I don't want to tick that. And this is it, now it should be sorted. Let's close that, go back, click on the icon and yes here is the destination that we've just created. And the same goes when you want to do this by clicking on file, share and save current frame and it's done. So this is it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope that you now know how to export a still from your timeline and if you like the video don't forget to like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching!